Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. I am Anaswara Prakash, student of second year B.Sc. Forensic Science and I am going to present today on the topic Results Behind Commission of Cybercrime. So to know what is Results Behind Commission of Cybercrime, we should know what is cybercrime. So cybercrime is defined as the crime committed using a computer and the internet to steal a person's identity or illegal imports or malicious programs. That means it is any illegal activities which is done against any person or individual uh, over the network. Cybercrime is also defined as any uh, any illegal action which is uh, done against any person using a computer, its system, its online or offline applications, for example, hacking, phishing, cracking, etc. Now, talking about the causes of cybercrime, cyber criminals always opt for for an easy way to make big money. They target rich people or rich organizations like banks, casinos, financial firms where a huge amount of money flows daily and hack sensitive information catching such criminals is difficult. Hence, that increases the number of criminals across the globe. Computers are vulnerable so laws are required to protect and safeguard them against cyber criminals. We could list the following reasons for the vulnerabilities of the computers. Uh, the first one is internet criminals never get caught. As we all know, there are too many cyber security incidents and too little law enforcement resources available to keep up with the crime. To add more complexity to this issue, there are jurisdictional boundaries that prevent the criminals from being prosecuted. The second one is the uh, indefinite illegal jurisdiction. Cyber crimes can be committed in the jurisdiction without the criminals being physically present in it. That is, it knows no geographical limitations or boundaries or distances. So, cyber crime is not always clearly illegal as compared to the conventional crimes. This is because of the law, lack of law punishing them. Now, talking about the third reason, third reason is lack of evidence. Human beings always neglect things, so we make any negligence in the pro protecting our computer system which leads the cyber criminals to the access and control over the computer system. This may be the only the next reason for the commission of the cyber crime. The next reason, the fourth reason is cyber crime isn't hurting economy. As we all know, cyber crime also leads in uh, risk to payoff ratio. It is a low risk crime that provides high payoffs. A smart crim cyber criminals can make hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars with almost no chance of arrest or jail. Lastly, the amount of internet crime isn't hurting economies enough to raise a global red alert. Sure, in internet crim crime probably results in the loss of hundreds of millions or perhaps several, several billion dollars each year, but that amount of crime has persisted for a long time well before the internet. The fifth reason is negligence of inter network users. This is the particularly true with the big organizations such as banks, corporations, governmental offices, etc., which are equipped with high tech software systems for a public access but leave if totally insecure and unguarded against information watchers or manipulators due to sheer negligence of the staff or uh, employers. That means uh, they allow the access control and security measures to take a back seat thus providing the scope for cyber criminals to intrude and steal after or erase substantial data. That can be also the reasons for the commission of cybercrime. Now talking about the sixth reason that is wider access to information. We all know that access where there is possibility of breach not due to human error but because of the complex technological manipulations. For a bank vault which usually contains lakhs of rupees is well guarded against unauthorized access by mischance as it made up of very strong Materials located in the reinforced zoo guarded by security personnel, security information can be easily stolen by implementing logic bombs. Similarly, the advanced voice records can easily fool biometric systems and frustrate all security measures. Now talking about the seventh reason that is complexity of computer system. Computer system is uh, like the computer work and operating system and this operating system in turn are composed of millions of codes. Human mind is fa failably and it is 
possible that there might be a lapse at any stage the cyber criminals take under advantage of these lapses lacunas and penetrate into the computer system such criminals are called hackers who exploit the weaknesses in the existing computer system and security devices now talking about the eighth reason that is unlimited internet access by using internet we have given convenience in accessing without any limitation this is the foremost factor which causes uh, for the commission of cyber crime now talking about the ninth reason that is embedding malware into the legitimate applications cyber criminals have embedding malware into the legitimate applications and they are targeting poorly secured wifi spots stealing passwords and more in their quest to steal information and talking about the 10th reason that is easy uh, to access computers as we all know there are so many possibilities of hacking when we safeguard a computer system from an unauthorized access hackers can steal access codes retinal images advanced voice recorders etc that can mislead the biometric system and can utilize it to get past many security system by avoiding firewalls now talking about the 11th reason that is size to store computer data in comparatively small space we all know that a computer has got a distinctive feature of storing a data in very small space due to this the people can steal data very easily from any storage any other storage and are using this for their purpose now coming to the 12th reason that is complexity of codes the computers can run on operating systems and these operating systems are programmed with millions of codes there might be mistakes in the code the human brain is defective so that they can commit mistakes at any stage the cyber criminals take advantage of these loopholes so now talking about its 13th reason that is lack of resources lack of resources is the top challenge to informatics information security professionals followed by the lack of experience and the skills last but not the least that is financial gain uh, most of the cyber criminals do this for the, their financial gain which includes identity fraud th- attempts to steal financial account credit cards or other payment card information the other reasons from this all which includes lack of manpower revenge freedom show off pleasure or for fun insider threats notify many people their thought so uh, they are saying uh, we can protect uh, yourself by using by following these steps or this routine keep your information secure put the necessary controls on your home network to protect your family from cyber crime prevent identity theft when shopping online or using contact lens payment keep your children safe when using with the internet etc there are so many protective measures we should follow excluding this now coming to the conclusion as internet technology advances so does the threat of cyber criminal crime in time like this we must protect ourselves from cyber crime antivirus software firewalls and security patches are just the beginning never open suspicious email and only navigate trusted sites and that brings me to the end of my presentation i hope you all understood the same thank you